Yep, got poison ivy. I was in contact with poison ivy while doing maintenance around my property, so I thought it was a great idea to show everybody a great treatment for that. And a great treatment for that is jewel weed, also known as spotted touch me not. It grows around wet areas. Now it gets the name jewel weed because it will beat up and looks like small jewels laying on the leaf when it gets wet. Okay, the leaves are oval shaped and they have these teeth. Now some places will say they're relatively sharper teeth. I think they look just a little bit more rounded to me, but you can see what that looks like in general. When I pick the plant, the stem itself, if you wipe it away just a little bit, looks somewhat translucent, okay? The stem is also hollow, so it's almost like bamboo, and you can see that the leaves and stems are across from each other. One easy way to identify this also is take a leaf, and it's normally, again, grows by wet areas. So if you sink that leaf in the water, you see how that looks almost slippery? It looks shiny and slippery, and that's the back side of the leaf. All right, almost looks metallic. That's a very easy way to tell that it's jewel weed. Another distinguishing factor of jewelweed is that it flowers. The flower looks like this. Unfortunately, this time of the year, there's not flowers on the plant, so we need to rely on understanding what the leaves look like. But when it does flower, it's an orange bell-shaped flower that points somewhat downward. I think it's very easy to distinguish what this looks like compared to any other flower out here. The way that I apply jewelweed is I just take the plant itself and I crush it between my hands. It should feel very slimy and very wet when you do that. I'll then take my infected area and just rub the plant directly on it. That's gonna begin the soothing process right away. Very wet, very slimy. And that's a simple field expedient for poison ivy. It'll take away the itch and the burn quickly. It's easy to identify, but as always, make sure that you positively ID it before you would ever go and use anything out here. And if you have never used it, test it somewhere on yourself in a very small section to make sure you're not allergic to it. Just because I use it doesn't mean that you can use it. So always test that out first. Make sure it's positively ID'd. And if it is, you're good to go. So this was Dan Wawak with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Stay in the woods.